All right, this example is on the dot product. Uh, product is multiplication, and sometimes the dot product is called the inner product. So here's two vectors. These are component vectors. They've got an x part and a y part. And recall, we sometimes, uh, or your text will call the x part the v sub 1 part, and the y part the v sub 2 part. So when we do the dot product, we want to multiply these together. So I'm going to show it like that. So you're going to multiply the x parts together. I'm just going to show this here, v sub 1. Uh, and then, of course, this would be w sub 1, w sub 2. So this would be v sub 1 times w sub 1. And then we're going to add that to v sub 2 times w sub, sub 2. So in other words, we're going to multiply the x parts together, and we're going to multiply the y parts together. Oops, oops, I'm just going to goof this up. y sub 1, there we go, y sub 1 times y sub 2. There we go. The x parts multiplied together, the y parts multiplied together, and then added together. So let's go ahead and do that. So then we have here 3 times negative 2, and then the y parts are going to be 4 times 5. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, 4 times 5 is 20, and we add those together and we get 14. That is the dot product. Interesting to note about the dot product is you started with two component vectors, and after you multiply them together, you no longer have a vector. You have a scalar. In other words, the direction has disappeared. So you end up with just a scalar.